So in the last tutorial, we set up a new project and created a new package in ROS. The next step now is to create our first node in ROS. But before we can dive into the coding, we have to go through some concepts in ROS, which is the ROS core, nodes, topics, and messages. And if you already know about these concepts, you can skip on to the next tutorial and dive into the coding part. If not, keep watching and I will tell you. So we begin with the ROS core. The ROS core is essentially a collection of nodes and programs containing the basic structure of ROS. On forums and in discussion, it might also be called the ROS monster, but I prefer to call it the ROS core as that is the command for starting it and it's also more easily for others to refer to, I think, if we have the same name as the command. However, it contains information of all nodes currently running and also at which IP addresses the nodes are available on and sets up peer-to-peer -peer connection between nodes. Because of this, it also knows who publishes and subscribes to who, and which services and topics are available at runtime. If you don't know about these things yet, uh, I just mentioned you will know about in a minute or two, but because the ROS core contains all of this information I just talked about, ROS core always needs to run when we run a ROS project. So therefore, we have to start it the first thing we do when we start a project or start a node or something. And you can only have one ROS core running at the same time. You can't have two. So I don't think we should dive deeper into the ROS core for now, but at least you should have an idea of what it is and what it does, I think. So let's head into the next slide. So next up, we have nodes. So a node is simply a single executable file which performs some kind of task. This can be publishing data from a sensor, building a map of incoming data, or finding the shortest path to a point or anything else. This is mainly where we are going to work and it is in the nodes we will be writing the most, if not all, of our code. As nodes performs some kind of task or many tasks, it might need to be able to either collect data from another node or to send out data to another node. There is two different ways of doing this, which is either from a service or from, thing, from something called topics, which leads us onto the next slide on the, this presentation, which is about topics. Topics is one of the core things in ROS and might be one of the most things you will work with when it comes to ROS. They are one way of communicating between different ROS nodes, and a ROS node can either subscribe or publish to a ROS topic. A topic can only have one publisher, but it can have many, or if not an infinite, infinite amount of subscribers. But what is most important to notice here though, is that it is a one-way communication. And here I'm going to show you a picture describing this a lot better. So in this picture here, we have a topic and we have a pu publisher. And the publisher publishes information to the topic. So we write some information to the topic. And in the other end of the topic, we have a subscriber, which subscribes to the topic and collects information from the topic. So the publisher writes to the topic and the subscriber subscribes to the topic, which is essentially reading from it. And as I told you, there can be many subscribers. So there can be many to an infinite amount of subscribers. And I also mentioned that it's a one-way communication, so communication goes only in one direction. If we would like to, if a subscriber wants to talk to the publisher through topics, we have to go through another topic. So a subscriber has has then to be a new, also a publisher, and publish to a new topic, which the publisher here then subscribes to. I hope that made made sense in some some sort of way, but uh, that's uh, how it is. So let's talk about messages. And messages is the last thing we are going to cover in this tutorial. And messages are simply used to describe what content is published at a specific topic. So for example, a node which publishes a position might publish a X, Y, and Z coordinate inside a message to the topic while a mapping node publishes a map inside a map message. And therefore we use mes messages to describe the content inside a topic. So we know what we are working with. 
So therefore, we can separate messages with their names, like messages called a string, might could simply be just a string, while a message con which we would call position message can contain a x, y, z coordinate. And that's all for this tutorial. So hopefully it made sense what I just talked about today and uh, that you got a little better understanding of these concepts in ROS. And I think it will be more clear to you as we start working with the different concepts. So if you don't understand them right now or if I describe them badly, I think you will understand them when we start coding and you will see how it actually works. In the next tutorial, we're going to write our first publisher, which publishes a message to a topic. And if you think this video was helpful, consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button. I would be very pleased if you do so. Otherwise, see you in the next video.